Um, they've been playing day games this week, so we've had to move the schedule around for our uh, weekly trip down to Bowie. But an opportunity to catch up with someone who's uh, has been having quite the season. He's been very impressive pitching to a 2.41 ERA. He is Ryan Watson, and he joins us now here on GCR. Ryan, it's Glenn and Paul. It's great to chat with you, man. Thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes for us. Yeah, great to be on. Uh, thank you for having me. Absolutely, man. How good did you feel coming into this season? Did you did you know that like something big was coming when the year got underway? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I felt pretty good. You know, uh, I put in a lot of a lot of work this off season. Um, you know, with my trainer down in Florida, and um, you know, just put in some really solid work, and was feeling really good going into spring training. You know, had a had a pretty good spring training, and uh, was yeah, just looking forward to the season. You know, I felt like I uh, definitely had made some improvements from from last year, and was ready to get after it. Do you? So we got to talk about it. you started the season retiring your first 27 batters. Do you try to like qualify that as a perfect game? Do you try to like say, "Hey, I've done it. I've this is it counts, right?" Uh, I mean, I I guess you could look at it like that. Oh, I, I will. I was just trying to. <laughs> I was just uh, trying to go out and you know do the best I could, and it uh, it worked out for the first few games there for sure well you've still been pitching well since that point are you are you a a superstitious type maybe a little stitious like when you were when you were going through that streak did you did you do anything to say hey man until I give up a, a hit I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change what I eat anything along those lines no not really you know like I I try to stick to a routine so to speak like on days I pitch but uh no nothing nothing crazy I guess you know just Tried to go out and do my thing. Yeah, I mean, it worked, bro. It worked. Yeah. It was successful. Ryan Watson is with us here on Glenn Clark Radio from the Bowie Bay Sox. Um, Ryan, you know, take me through what were specifically the goals for you coming into this year? And when you say the work that you put in with the trainer, what, what was it? Dial in on what it was that you were working on, what you wanted to change coming into this season at Double A. Uh, it was really just like uh, a, from a strength standpoint. You know, I'm, I've always been – I feel like a pretty strong guy, but I was weak in uh, in some areas that I uh, wanted to improve on. So I really hit those hard in the off season. Uh, you know, tweaked my mechanics just a little bit, and um, you know, been the velocity went up from last year a little bit from just uh, the strength aspect of it. You know, I'm stronger coming into this year, and um, yeah, really just you know, kind of just going right at guys is you know the mindset you know just go right at them with you know my best stuff you and uh just get after it when you say the velocity went up where 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 have you been sitting um this season i've been you know like 93 95 okay you know, touching six and seven yeah in there that's legit <laughs> like the first okay so how where have you been sitting before then uh last season i sat you know around 91 93 and i'd run it up you know 94 95 so when you hit like 97 for the first time do, do you like kind of jump up and down like holy crap are you see I, if i were to do something like that i i would throw a parade like are you the more <laughs> casual type or like oh yeah that's where i thought i was gonna be able to get yeah i mean i knew i had it i had it in me it was just trying to unlock it and i think uh this off season, you know, the work I put in helped me get to that point where I could un unlock the the extra velo, and you know, it, it was uh, it was more like a like just a good feeling knowing that the uh, the work in the off season paid off when you know I went out for my first outing and looked up and saw that I was throwing harder. I mean, that, it's it's a great feeling to have. There's no doubt about it. Ryan Watson is with us here on Glenn Clark Radio. Ryan, uh, you're in your second organization, right? And you are getting into your mid twenties. When when you talk about some of the work that you put in, were you start starting to feel maybe a little bit of a clock? Like, hey, I got to get on the radar. I got to get this moving a little bit. Were you feeling any of that throughout last season into the off season? Uh, I mean, no, not really. Uh, you know, I was, I was a, uh, I was drafted by the Dodgers out of high school, and. Uh, 
went to Auburn. Yep. And so last year was my, my first professional season. Sure. So last year I was just trying to, you know, get off to a good start and, you know, put up some good numbers. And this year is really like a, a year to push and, uh, you know, show uh, show what I've got and really, you know, just strive to get to Baltimore. Did, I, I guess, does it feel good to be on the radar, right? Does it Does it feel good to be – you know, you were probably a guy that was a little bit overlooked in this organization, and, and part of that, as we know, there's some. It's a pretty top-heavy organization right now, right? Yeah. Um. Did it? Did it? Does it feel good to be getting that attention now after a solid start? There, again, going back to superstition, do you try to say like, nah, I, I got to block all that out? It's... I mean, yeah, I guess it feels good. It's just you just try to do the best you can do, and you know, the, it's gonna, it, it's gonna all gonna work out in the end. You know, if you go out and um, you know, play your best ball and do uh, do what you know you're capable of doing. You know, it uh, seems like, you know, the other stuff will take care of itself. Um, so I just try to go out and put up quality outings every yep. time I'm out and uh, just give the, the team a chance to win. He's Ryan Watson. He's with us here on GCR. Again, the Bay Sox are hoping to be home this weekend. We all have seen the same weather forecast. We all know the reality. Um, we think it's pretty safe that on Sunday – they're going to be able to host their Mother's Day celebration. You can uh, bring your glove and play catch with your mom on the field at Prince George's Stadium before the game. Also, fans run the bases afterwards, and hopefully they'll be able to get baseball in tonight or tomorrow. Again, go to BaySox.com. You can find out more about all of their upcoming promotions. Um, so, so Ryan, the, the, spending some time, I know it was very brief this week with Adley Rutschman. Um, what was it like? What did you take from it? And – you know, how excited are you to, to get back, you know, keep climbing and able to be able to work with him again in the future? Uh, yeah, it was, it was awesome, man. He's a, he's a great guy, you know, off the field in the clubhouse, you know, from the interactions I had with him. He's, he's just a super dude. And, uh, you know, he's everything about him's you know, big league. You know, he's he works hard. He's, you know, sound behind the plate. He's obviously got a great bat. You know, he's just one of those players that you, you know, you – you're around for a short amount of time and you already know like that's what it looks like that's what it looks like you know and he's definitely uh gonna help you know the big league team win some games here in the in the near future was he behind the plate for your start the other day yeah he was all right so because that was the one you got roughed up do you almost become like again we go back to superstitious do you say like well nope when you get up here you're gonna need to have a personal catcher it can't be adley it didn't work out that time <laughs> <laughs> no nah, it's Nope. I will try to get Ryan Watson back. Not sure what happened there. Ryan Watson from the Bowie Bay Sox with us here on GCR. Yeah, Ryan had a spectacular uh, start, his previous start, where he went five innings, five shutout innings, and then the other night with Adley behind the plate, he went five and two-thirds, but he gave up five runs. <laughs> so everything had been going really well right until that guy showed up. Uh, Ryan Watson back with us. Maybe it was Adley who cut the line. That might be what happened there. I don't, I don't know what just happened. Yeah, but, it's uh, all right. <laughs> but, yeah, going back to your question, no, it like yeah, uh, yeah. Tuesday was just it was all on myself. You know, it was just fastball command wasn't quite there. But uh, it was it was awesome being able to, to throw to Adley. He's a you know, like I said, he's very solid behind the play, very sound. You know, it was. The pitch calling, you know, we were in sync, and you know, I'd met the guy three hours before the wow. outing, so like, wow. he knew what was going on. Like he, we, uh, you know, we linked up pretty quick in the pen, especially, you know, just with what we wanted to do or try to do that day, and you know, I just left a couple pitches over the plate that got hit, but you know, other than that, you know, it was. It was it was a neat experience and excited to hopefully get a chance to work with him again here. Did he do the, the thing? With, did he do the thing with you where he came and greeted you at the end of an inning? Did 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 he? Yeah, did? yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Right. It was, uh, yeah, he comes up. He's like, hey, you know, like that was like good inning stuff like that, you know, and it was it was, it was cool. Yeah. It's a, it's a cool, it's a, it, it's a, it, you know, we're not used to it. I guess at this point we are now because we've seen him do it a lot, but it was still, when he started doing it, we were like, wow, what is that? We've never seen this before. But it seems like a cool kind of way to sort of, I don't know, decompress at the end of an inning, right? To, to have that quick chat. Yeah, for sure. You know, especially like after the first inning, you know, I gave him a couple of runs and, you know, it was, he, he 
met me at the line and he was like, Hey man, like you're, you're fine. You know, you're going to get right back in the next inning. It was kind of, you know, it's, it's relieving almost just it's cool. First guy you talk to is the, the guy you're working with coming off the field. So it's awesome, man. All right. Well, what do we need to know about you, Ryan Watson? Let me, let me get, you know, away from baseball. What are you into? Like, if we see you on an off day, and so like on Monday of this week, how are you going to spend your time? What's what's Ryan Watson all about besides baseball? I, I play a lot of golf. You know, you probably see me playing golf on the off day with some of the guys. Um, all right, give me best and yeah. worst. Give me best and worst golfer on the team. Best best golfer on the team is probably Jensen Elliott. He okay. Just got, he just got here from uh, Aberdeen. Yeah, me and him play a lot of golf, and he. Uh, yeah, I like to think I'm I'm pretty good. I'm decent at golf, but man, he's he can really he can really swing it. Is it to the point where like maybe guys don't bring their wallets when they play with him? Like, dude, you know we're gonna. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, we definitely have to. You know, give them give them a partner who's not quite as talented <laughs> to uh, even out the playing field. Okay, so so who is that partner then? How do you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to do my, my guy like this, but it's got to be Shelton Perkins. Okay. He's my roommate. He's my, you know, one of my best friends, but the guy struggles every now and then on the court. Hey, man, I, I would be him for what it's worth. <laughs> I, I would be him. I would be the immediate guy that you'd be pairing up because I am no good. I don't, I've, in fact, largely given it up at this point. I've just accepted <laughs> it's not going to be a part of my life moving forward. Oh, man. Um, but he, yeah, Perk's a good morale guy. Though he's fun to have out there with you. That's that's the cool course, for sure. That's cool. And Ryan, give me a, just a, just a goal. Um, as as you look to make the the jump up to the next level in AAA and get towards the bigs, um, what do you want to accomplish before your time in Bowie is up? Um, you know, I really just want to just go out every week and just put up quality starts, quality outings. You know, just like just really, <clears throat> you know, attack hitters throw my best stuff at them you know it's just you know it's with the defense that we have on this team behind me it makes it a little easier you know just going right at guys and not not really worrying about if they put it in play or not you know we we've got a a very very good defense so just kind of just trusting trusting my stuff let it work you know and just putting up quality outing Man, it's as simple as that. It sounds good. May it continue. May that be the case. Ryan Watson, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Where can Orioles fans be giving you a follow, man? Uh, my Instagram is Ryan underscore Watson 37. And then my Twitter is Ryan underscore Watson underscore 19. Very cool. Give him a follow as he works his way up. Ryan, uh, congratulations the outstanding start to the season, man. Thank you for taking a couple of minutes for us this morning. Let's chat again as you continue making your way through the organization, all right? Sounds good. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Ryan Watson, Nobuy Bay Sox, checking in with us here on GCR.